Hello there, welcome back to Let's Play Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon. I'm just whacking some rats as an old man, and they disappeared. Cool. Uh, so yes, we got Alfred here, the old man alchemist dude, whose spells seem a little OP, not gonna lie. Especially, let's try this one here. Okay, that's, that's pretty dope, actually. That's really dope, actually. That's really dope, because it seems like it not only sh attacks, not only protect, he also attack. That's really good, except it seems to come back on, uh, on hit. Okay, also I need to switch him pretty soon. Oh, so you can't, you can't have him out and then switch him, darn it. What is this guy? Is he saying to go down? It looks like he's saying to go down. Okay, uh, well, let's go down then. Really? Really, that's what we're doing? Whoa, I was gonna try and turn him around there, but that didn't really work, because I forgot you can't turn around on stairs or in midair. Sinar, Alfred. We, we enjoyed your company for a bit. I see what they were saying. I need to head down there uh, with that. But uh, it did not work, sadly. We'll get him back. Also, I did not want this item. I mean, it's good for those big dudes, but otherwise, yeah, no, I mean... I mean, I guess it works, but... Oh, I hate enemies that fall from the ceiling. Pretty much anything ever. I wonder when you can get your dudes back. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, I wonder if there's any way to get that. Other than, than, than using Alfred's magic. Whoop. Okay, forgot those aren't stairs. Okay. What is this? That's fine. Oh, look at that little impman! Oh, he's a big imp! He's terrifying. I hate him. Thanks. Okay, so at least it sends him away and then I can hit him from afar. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm guessing it's going to be a case of don't fall in there. But it might be a case of, no, do fall in there. Because, oh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Please don't be one of the dudes that hits infinitely. Uh, no. Okay, nope, nope, bad. Bad idea. Can I, can I proc that dude? Nope. But what if I jump for a sec? No? Really? When's he gonna attack me? Up here? Yep. There we go. Let's get this guy with... Aha! So it's all about these, like, slow, deliberate movements. Also, why am I not looking for help? Oh, don't tell me he's gonna respawn. No! No off-screen enemy response! Oh, thank goodness. Big problemo solved. Kind of. Go. I see. I see how he goes. Lots of multiple paths. Uh, no. No, no. Thank you. Aha! See, you can use strategy to get across from that. Okay, we got mimics here. Oh, okay, well. Spider mimics. Those are actually kind of cool. Cool, but one hit gets him still. And what is this? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, I forgot to forgot I forgot to jump. I forgot to jump. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, we can't go that way now. Or no, we are gonna go this way still. Okay. Yeah, Zengets is definitely the most difficult character, and the fact that the game. Oh, okay. The fact that the game kind of suggests you can do a Zengets only run is cool, uh, but at the same time, a problem because that would make your life harder. Okay, so what can I get from this for, for Alfred here? So we got him back. Oh, I can't jump. Uh, I got the body double spell, which is good. It only uses three. That spell's really good. But I gotta watch his health still. He's a squishy sorcerer. I do like how they are kind of adhering to the, you know, the tropes of, uh... D and D, you know, like the the, the the wizard being squishy, all that good stuff. I, uh, you see, you gotta think about what you're gonna do, right? You can't just kind of willy nilly 
decide what you're going to do with, uh, you know, what attacks and stuff and when, when to attack. You need to think, okay, he's going to go on under, and you can go up there, but he's going to keep pursuing me because it's a pursuit dude. I feel like this time we should probably head up. Can I get that fire shield back? Because that was really dope. That's what I wanted. Because it looks like that does protect from projectiles, right? You fool. You fool. Ah, uh, he's telling me to go that way? Okay. Is this a secret staircase? Not just where we were. Okay. But it's kind of hidden so that you don't necessarily... I didn't want that. So that you don't necessarily see it, which is kind of cool. Okay, cool. Uh, you're gonna die. If I can get health back soon, that'd be nice. Okay. So let's go. That is suspicious. That platform there. Oh, that's a shield! I thought he was holding a bow! I was like, why is this dude not firing his bow? That's hilarious. Okay, that is very clearly there because some playtesters got angry. They kept getting hit in mid midair there. I should have gave that heart to a what's her face Miriam. This place is one hit, one jump, run, run, jump, and you die anyway, so I think I'll use her here because her high jump will be useful. There we go. Please give me some health, Arino. No. No. Okay, well. Oh, we gotta go down. Okay. It's only some doors you can go through. Probably because it looks like there are many multiple paths. Yeah, like, look at this. There's like two distinct paths I could let here, right? Good, Miriam's got her health back. Be nice if we got her another sub item, but I'll take it. Okay, so far... Oh! Is that gonna be for everyone? I couldn't tell. Yes, that's better. Okay. Oh, Medusa heads! Except they're not. I don't know what they are. No, I want that. I don't want that. Okay. Go down. Go down. Oh, no. Oh, Medusa heads. What do we got? Okay. Coins. Oh, he's cool. He has a pauldron. Can I hit him like three times? Yeah, that's good. Oh, he's he's in the background. That's good to know. Okay. So we got him a bunch of times there. Oh, and you can hit it! Oh, and it does damage to him too? Are you serious? Interesting. Very interesting. Can I use the fire shield here? Uh-oh. What's he doing? That's cool. Oh, and that could potentially make uh, an enemy fall down. Okay, I like I like this boss a lot. This is really cool. I find it interesting. It seemingly hurts him too. Let's switch over and try the uh, shield next time. Nope. Bad idea. But you're crushing his insta-death, so... Oh, I like how it's playing with, like, level. Like, you can't do that on the SNES, I don't think. Very nice. I could have hit him there, but I didn't. And I got him. Cool. Wonder if those dudes can drop stuff. Oh. Desperation attack. Oh, you just gotta go through the, the coins there. Oh, that is... That last hit, you can't see. The Brilliant Void. I bet you you need to use, like, Alfred's shield or something. Oh, that was cool. I like that boss a lot. And we're gonna get the last dude here. A Cursed Shard Binder. 
You carry the power of numerous demons. Oh, interesting. I didn't know Gabel would be a shard binder, too. Very perceptive of you. I require the demon's power to achieve my revenge. At this moment, our objectives align. Cooperation will be fruitful for us both. So be it. I'll let you continue breathing for now. Gabel has joined and become an ally. He's like the villain, I'm pretty sure, of the actual regular... So let's see here. Uh, summon darkness. It oh immortal metamorphosis, not dark metamorphosis. Cipher. Oh, that looks. He just. He's just. He's just Alucard. I mean that's awesome. Huh. Okay, but so that the flight is gonna be interesting. That's gonna change things up. That ship is that the ship from the start of Bloodstained, like the main game? That'd be cool. Oh, look at this Castlevania stage! Okay, so it's definitely weaker. But that's an, that's an interesting attack, regardless. He is such an Alucard. Which, you know, is, is Dracula backwards. In case you didn't know. And if you didn't know... Wow, okay. So I'm guessing he does not get sub-weapons, right? That flies almost exactly like um, the one in Symphony of the Night. Also, yeah, I should watch my health. So I think the sword might be the most powerful attack because, like, it's killing these dudes in one hit that it took uh, Gabelle multiple to. It could just be a case of his... W no, because, no, it's not that strong because these dudes still take two hits. Great. Okay, so it's saying go across. Oh, that's interesting. Is that an item crash? Okay, well, we got across. We nearly died because we ran out of uh, weapon points there, but... That's the axe toss. Look, they got it in there somewhere. Kind of hammer bros-ish in this situation, though. Okay, I wish I got some more item points. Oh! Okay. Jump. What is the... It, that has to be an item crash that I got, right? Like, just look at that. That is, that is an item crash. Also, nope. Any small alcoves. Wow, you're kind of an annoying enemy, but not as annoying as I thought you'd be. Okay. So let's keep going. I want to get enough for the item crash, because I want to see what that does. Because that's what it's got to be! Look at that icon! And it was it was a... The, like, Hanya mask, right? So... Any, any sort of... <gasps> Wait! Wait, you saw that, right? I thought I moonwalked for a second there. Oh, it's got it's got to be in somehow, right? No, I'm probably wrong. That was close though. So it was like, oh, it's got to be in. Knowing Inti, it has to be in in some form. I like how I can just skip that section. Thank you. Oh, these dudes can shoot down too. That's surprising. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, that's still hitting me. But now you're not! Oh. Can I... What is that? Is that my next hit gonna be like an insta-kill? What? Oh, that dude might not be... You might not be able to get past him normally. So you just gotta kinda... Why? Okay, well. Not a big fan of Hanya Mask. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, there's gonna be some flying stuff. So far, not too bad with these guys. Uh-oh. No, I take it back. I take it back. These are the worst. Oh, wow. Wow, those guys are terrible. Wow, that's bad. Oh, and you do keep your HP. Okay. So when they start coming from behind, you have to worry. Okay. 
At least you can jump and get him pretty easily. Okay. Yeah, wow, those guys sucked. Um, okay. Well, we lost Miriam, who is by far our best character, I feel. Um, which is telling, because I feel like they're trying to make you want to play as the main character of the game. That this is pretty much an advertisement for. Like, let's be real here. I get another HP. That'd be nice. Yeah, I like that. Oh, okay, well... Okay, so here we go. Yeah, man, the color scheme is so good. And it's like, it's nice because they aren't... They aren't... Like, stuck. In what is the old... That killed him in one hit, wow. Like, they don't have to follow the old... Oh, that, that arc. Uh, the old, like, limitations at all. But they do. For us. You know? Like, there's definitely something... Like, there's way too many colors on screen here. Like, just look... Like, the fact that there's two different shades of black, I mean, you know that they're... Like, that, that is... That is extraneous, right? So... Um, but, like, even still, it looks good. Yeah, I want that back. Um... Let's fly up here. Very nice. Can't slide back down, but I can... Okay, that's like an upgraded due to that, so that sucks. Oh no. I gotta like use my magic carefully here. Oh, that's not where I go. I have to go the other way. Well, embarrassing. Hmm. If I had Miriam, I could jump up there, but I just have to walk through. Haha! Whew! Ah, uh, see, it's all about it's it's about taking individual elements and then combining them. I love it. That's that's good game design. You know what it isn't? The fact that I'm running so low on HP. Well, I mean that is good game. Oh well, that got a bit. Um, I'm probably not gonna beat this boss in one go. I beat the last one in one go though, so it is possible. What? I was like, wait, what's wrong with his face up there? And it's the lantern. That's hilarious. Wait, does he make it so enemies drop magic or something? Because it seemed like the enemy just dropped magic there in a situation when he normally wouldn't? Interesting. Uh, well, we'll see. Oh, we're at the boss. Okay, what do we got? It's... what? Oh, is this a dragon? This is totally that dragon. Oh, wow. Look at the teeth on the bottom, too. Does he form to make a super dragon? Okay, what, do, what can I use here? I'm too scared. What? Oh! Okay. Can I slash those? Okay, don't slash them. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Uh-oh. Don't trust that. Okay. Um... Fire breath. Okay, well. I see here. I see how this is going to kind of go. Oh, we got rid of the one? Really? Oh, he's, he's went dormant at least. Can I pop him in his mouth? All oh, these hits. Okay, well, are they both... No, that's not it, right? What are they? They're up to something. Oh. Well, that... Yep, they did do the combination, but they didn't do it in a way I expected. And I did not have the ability to high jump, so... Um, whew. Okay, well, this is going to be slightly a bit tougher than I expected. We could try the mask and see what it does to those dudes. I wonder if I could grind on these enemies here. I don't think so. I think it's pretty much set up in a way that you can't. Okay, well, we'll see what our mask can do now that we're uh, now that we're here. If we lose all our lives, I think that's okay because we kind of need Miriam for this. 
Only her high jump will allow us to really do this easily. Let's do the chomp. Oh wow, he's already done. Okay, that is really strong then. Okay, now avoid that. Avoid that, okay. Oh man, avoiding that is real tough. Oh great, good. You know what, I might just jump off the cliff here because I need my full party for sure. Yeah, no, there's no way, goodbye. <laughs> I need them all. Yeah, just put me back to that room again, that'd be dope, thank you. Oh, it's a little... It, it's further back. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I need... I need the, uh... The angle, uh, chain there, because, yeah, just the... The ability to go at an angle is really important in a level there that, uh... He cannot physically jump up to, and also I forgot I have a limited amount of, uh... Weapon points, so... That's okay. We'll work our way back there. Yeah, definitely playing as Zangets is here is not bad because uh, I definitely want to save. Just should be playing as as Alfred because I don't think he'll be too good in the boss fight at least. So we'll see here. Maybe it will change. Maybe he is secretly awesome. We have the body double. That's fire. Okay. Aha! Oh, Alfred, you're so dope, actually, kind of, sometimes. Except your low HP really sucks. Really sucks. Okay. Alfred! Okay, we're back here. Let's get the HP back for Zangetz, because I can use him at least, but I gotta, again, watch the HP. Um, Miriam, can you get an A? Oh, that's good. Kill this little guy, kill that little guy. Get this, this, this weapon art stuff back. Very nice. And let's see, what does... Can you just turn it into... Yes, you can turn it into a large increase. So that's good to know. Uh, so I'm going to use Miriam here to get just the bottom head. Uh, actually, I wonder if I can just throw the thing to get them both. Because I feel like it has a big enough range that I can do that. And possibly pop the upper one's balls. But I gotta watch Miriam's HP for at least her movement, too. Pop that. Let's see if I can get him to boot fire. Okay. Oh! Oh, but you can hit the fire away. Very interesting. Okay. And there's more than enough times so that you can get the fire to uh, not be in a situation where you're bothered by it. There's just no way to get over there without using the magic, right? Oh man, that sucked. Okay, this is not going as well as I would have really liked. Let's see here. <gasps> Dude, so cool, actually! Okay. Let's hop away. Okay, now they're going up there, and I need to get to that platform there, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna go down there. I wonder if I can hit them from here. I might be able to. Yep. Okay. I'm so mad right now. I forgot his HP was nothing. Alfred, you were kind of rocking that. Okay. Miriam, get your HP back. Okay. That's good to know, though. We're learning. We're learning. And, uh, yeah, everyone else's things are good. Let's just get more of the points. Can we get that? Nope. 
Let's get as many as we can, because it's very helpful. Especially now that we can, you know, fly. Let's see here. Let's again... Get the bottom dude, get the... So yeah, the this boss isn't difficult. Like, it doesn't... It does not feel unfair, let me tell you. Uh, the only thing that's unfair is the actual platform placement, but we'll see here. So I don't want to kind of mash, I want to just kind of hit it so that it's, like, safe for me. Okay, so he's gonna do fire there, fire there, okay. There we go. Ah, oh, darn. And then the jump in there gets him. Okay, it's all about that kind of pixel perfectness. Okay. Once he comes up, I am going to throw a thing, switch over to Zangets and hit him in the face. And then I'll have to jump down for the, uh, the thing. Oh, that looks so cool. That's stronger than I thought, and quicker. Oh, and then that jumps up. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, I see how this is gonna go. And then it jumps up. Okay, I see. And it's gonna go wave. Oh, jeez, that jump. Hup. They don't need to duck, which is good. Man, if I had Alfred's super crazy sh thing here, that would have actually kind of worked. Oh, but no, that is not hit by the fire. Okay. Oh, he's going to do a thing. Oh, wait, I can't move right now. So he's not going to have a desperation attack, I think. So he can't move. That or there's more to this that I don't know. Is that, is that it? Are we good? He does not have a desperation attack? Okay. The dunk. Hey. That's you we're only gonna see your win post pretty much. Okay. To the ship. Which we will do next time. Sunder the night. Alright, everyone, next time we're gonna be moving on to Sunder the Night to see what the heck that means. I don't know what the Curse of the Moon means, and I'm scared to hit it. So, we'll see you next time for some more, guys. Ciao!